So what is discovery and then why we need the discovery in service now? So let's understand quickly. So uh, before I jump to the discovery, how we can set up the discovery, what are the step needs to be designed for the discovery. Before we jump to that, we should know the basic theory of the discovery, how they work, why we need the discovery, um, how um, the, the mechanism is working, what is probe and sensor. And these things we need the basic understanding. So let's see that why we need the discovery in the service now. So if you see, it's mentioning the discovery finds computer, server, printer, various IP enabled devices and the application that runs on them. It can then update the CI in your CMDB with the data it collects. Discovery is an application in the service now which can search to a com uh, complete network, particular specific network, and then it can detect the computer, server, printer, basically all these IP enabled devices. And then under these devices, whatever application um, is running, that can also detect, update our CMDB table. So on the CMDB table, we can see the computer, we can see the server, we can see the databases, and then we can see all the application which is running on that particular uh, computer or maybe server. Now under this discovery, we have two mechanism. Using these two mechanism, we started discovery from the service now. The first mechanism is that horizontal discovery and then second mechanism is the top-down discovery. So if you see this image, you will understand clearly understand that what is the horizontal discovery and what is the top-down discovery. So if you see the left side, this is the horizontal discovery and this is the right side top-down mapping by service mapping. So if you see, uh, oriental discovery is a technique that discover uses the scan of your network, find computer device and then populate the CMDB with CI it founds. So basically, uh, using the horizontal discovery, it's find out the computer, database, uh, database, router, server, and then it's just populate there um, by the CMDB CI table. But it did not build any relationship between this computer or maybe this database or server. So it did not build any kind of relationship. Now we have another mechanism called top-down discovery. Top-down discovery is a technique that service mapping used to find and map the CI that are the part of business services such as email services. So basically using this top-down, it can build the relationship between uh, the server, the database, router, and the computer. To discover that, we um, basically use two uh, technique that is called probes and sensor, and then pattern. As I mentioned that, discovery, discover the IP enabled devices. So uh, what we did, we normally have the probes and sensor. Probes and sensor and pattern is nothing but a kind of code that can go to this mid server and using the mid server, it can detect that which all um, devices are available using their IP address and then it can be detected. We'll discuss further on the probes and sensor and patterns. Now let's see that how we can, uh, the discovery phases and setup. To discover that um, from the service now, if you want to discover that um, computer, if you want to discover that CI, if you want to discover that um, IP addresses, we normally have the four phases. Using the four phases, we discover the, the, um, the CI. On the first phase, we have the scanning mechanism. So under the scanning mechanism, what we basically do, we uh, send particular probes called SAJAM probes. We send that and we can find out that in the network, we can find out that what all network enabled device are available. Let's say we send that SAJAM probes and then uh, it detects that five port is available. IP address five IP port is available. It means that five device are available. Now, what we do on that, we our scanning is done. We find out that five device is there. So we can discover the five devices. Now, what we did, the classification, we did the classification using the classification mechanism we discovered that this, this device is a Windows device or maybe the Linux device or maybe other devices. So we using the classification me mechanism, we find out that which type of devices and then we can further classify 
how we do the further classify we classify by their port number maybe this is the another the port number 8080 based based on that we can find out that this is the this device now next is the identification so using the identification we determine that is there any this ci is already available to the cmdvci table or not so we identify that the ci is already exist in our service now or not if exist then do nothing or maybe update that or if not exist then create the ci so in using the identification mechanism we basically update our cmdvci and then after the four step we exploration steps in the first step, we found out the additional information. What is the RAM capacity? What is that uh, CPU capacity? What are other application is running under this, um, um, you know, uh, these devices? We do under the exploration steps. So that's it for today. If you have any question, let me know in comment sections. Uh, thank you very much. Have a great day.